Hi all, Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics here. In 2018, I made a video about getting CPU gold or RAM gold out of old electronics. And it's now been four years and something has happened with the gold prices. I mean, look at this chart. We are up 156% from 2018. Missed the uh, peak at 2022, the start of it, the uh, spring. But uh, yeah, due to war in Europe, Ukraine and such, that did not stay on for long. But we seem to have hit a pretty stable level right now on the gold price. So I thought that we should bring out the stash I have here, which is four years worth of collecting CPUs, RAM, and yeah, just the gold plated stuff that I get by. So it's not really a main focus, but if I get by something that does contain gold, I just do save it. So. Let's check out how much I could round up in four years. Let's do the calculations, send them in for valuation and get paid out. This is without any risk of using dangerous chemicals, risking your own health and life. So this is a good way to round up some electronics gold money without the risk. So before doing the weigh-in, let's just uh, see what we got. A uh, good bunch of uh, PCBs from uh, RF amplifiers. Got some uh, this aluminum uh, board here, all gold-plated. So figured we'll, we'll take that. A lot of unused PCBs. We got the uh, normal plastic PCUs. Uh, I'm not going to uh, yeah pour that out because it has a lot of uh, fragments in it. Gold-plated components. All kinds of really nice, high-quality gold-plated components, uh, connectors, CPUs, sensors, filters, all kinds of stuff. Slot CPUs, uh, primarily uh, Pentium 2, only have a few of those. Ceramic gold CPUs, these are the absolute, um, yeah, this is the prime of gold selling. These gold CPUs contain so much gold that you get I think it's up around 200 euros per kilogram, but we'll check those prices out later in the video. Normal plastic ICs, not really worth that much, but uh, if you can just easily knock them off with a screwdriver, it's still worth doing. Gold finger RAM, and that has turned out to be a lot over the years. So yeah, that's kind of it. We ended up at 2.6 kilograms of PCBs, 360 grams of components, 360 grams of ICs, 170 grams of slot CPUs, 720 grams of plastic CPUs, and just shy of one kilogram of gold CPUs. And then a total of Goldfinger RAM, 5.4 kilograms. Now this total is up to some 10.5 uh, kilograms, so that's above the 10 kilogram weight limit on a package so i might have to uh, go into a 20 kilogram package unless that's too expensive compared to the value of this then i just have to take some of it out in order to yeah just get below 10 kilograms and now if we can do send the uh, 20 kilogram i do have a bag of uh, silver finger ram here um 1.3 kilogram usually i don't um save that because the value of it is just too low but let's just write it in here and add it to the spreadsheet so let's check out the prices we can get from the gold recovery company i will use the same german company that i have used before which is esg precious metal services they have a nice overview of the sorting criteria and prices on electronics scrap so what we do have is class 1a pcbs we also have a, when we get down to it, we have our ceramic gold cap CPUs, we have our ceramic CPUs, we have uh, plastic CPUs, we have slot CPUs, we have RAM with the silver and gold edges, and also ICs and chips. So let's plug in these uh, updated numbers here into the spreadsheet along with the weight of the gold material. There is a link to this spreadsheet which you can find in the description of the video if you want to use the same one. Now uh, let's plug in our numbers. So the ceramic gold top CPU that accounted for 0.85 kilograms 
and for the just ceramic CPUs that was some uh, 0.16 kilograms. Now the plastic CPUs was 0.72 kilograms. Our large PCB set 2.66 kilograms and the slot CPU cards that was just a mere 0.17 kilograms. Now the gold pin uh, RAM that was a good load 4.44 kilograms and the silver pins was 1.3. Now I did not have any ceramic ICs, but we did have some plastic, and that was uh, somewhere around 0. .3. It totals to 11.66 kilograms, and that totals to 410 euros at, uh, as a result of the today's prices, which is probably not the prices when they received the package. Uh, I found out that I could ship 20 kilograms to Germany at the cost of 190 Danish crowns, and yeah, that will then give us a subtotal of 385 euros in profit on this one. So, quite a nice load. Found a nice uh, big box here. Now we just need everything packed up and we can ship it to Germany. We have the Goldfinger RAM. We have the Silverfinger RAM here. Then we have uh, plastic CPUs. Let's see if we can get this to fit nicely. We have our slot card CPUs. Our Gold components, which is a bit of a joker because there is no price for this on the website as this is based entirely on the gold content of the component. So that's a bit of bonus. We have our ceramic CPUs, our plastic CPUs, and then our big money maker, the gold top CPUs here. Let's get that nice in the middle there. And on top of it all, we have our Lots of gold PCBs here. And just like that, that all just fit in that box. That was nice. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope this showed you that you can still get money for your old gold scrap electronics without risking your own health, without dealing with very dangerous chemicals and long mechanical processes with dangerous dust and so on. That I might be able to make, let's say, two to three times as much money on processing this myself. But that will also include buying the chemicals, actually getting the chemicals, getting the containers to it, getting a work area where you can actually work with these dangerous chemicals. Don't do as you see in videos from India where they just do this in open fume hoods and just with fires on the floor. This way electronics is being scrapped environmentally correct without danger to the environment. So I hope this gave you inspiration to do the same. So until next time, see ya.